Hours fireworks will light up the night sky and that can send your pets running. News Channel 5's Jonquil Newland shows us how one local shelter is trying to keep their numbers down this fourth. Set pancake no down. Good job. Rebecca Morris and a small team of animal control officers are some of the only government employees working on the 4th of July, but they know what lies ahead. July 5th is the busiest day in animal sheltering um, across the country. Fireworks garner a lot of oohs and ahs from a crowd of people, but for pets, it can cause a lot of anxiety and stress. Secure your pet. If you're going to be home, be with your pet. If you're not going to be home, if you're going to be out enjoying all the amazingness that's going on in Nashville today, that's okay. Secure your pet in a safe place inside a home where they're not going to be able to break free. Um, it's amazing what a pet can do when they're afraid. They will climb that five foot fence, they will dig a hole, and they will run away. From 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on the 4th, animal control officers will be out in the field looking for pets that may be spooked into running away. Those that do will get a free ride home. Pets that are microchipped will be easy to get home. Otherwise, Morris says pet owners should make sure their pets have IDs on them. We don't want them to end up here at the shelter, and that's what our free ride home program is all about. Every single Thursday from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m., pet owners can bring their pets here to get microchipped for just $10. It's an offer folks here say no pet owner should pass up. In South Nashville, I'm John Quill Newland, News Channel 5. If your pet does go missing, the first thing you should do is fill out a lost pet report through Animal Control's website. And we've put all the links you might need on our website. You can just head to newschannel5.com.